Hello everybody, it's me, Captain Curb, here back with another Yoshi Engine tutorial. Uh, to preface this video off here, um, I just kind of wanted to say a couple things to you guys uh, in terms of what we've been experiencing as a team lately and what I've been doing as a contributor to try and like resolve it, I guess. Um, Yoshi Engine's been under a lot of hate lately for... Uh, basically not people not knowing how to either mod it or how to script certain things and I I, I, I understand the frustration um, I posted a big long Twitter thread about it earlier today so if you're interested I'll link that below and you guys can check that out but I want you guys to know that whatever scripts I'm doing for these tutorials you're gonna find them in the Oshi engine server I put all my stuff there as I restate as I stated last um, video, and the tutorials are only going to get more and more complicated from here. However, I do plan on making all of the scripts that I do use uh, available instead of having you guys write them out. However, if you're doing your own stuff, this is very important. Check the source code. Check the source code, and your answer will be there. Also. On behalf of Yoshi, we've got some big things coming to you or for you, so <laughs> I hope that y'all are looking forward to it. And without a doubt, uh, without further ado, uh, let's get into this tutorial. So, for this tutorial, uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the BF skin and also um, GF skin. And apparently, oh, there we go, testing. Um, and uh, basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make how to not make custom skins but add them into Yoshi Engine. Sorry if I'm a bit of a mess here, I'm just kind of working on some stuff. So as you can see, I already have some uh, skins attached, but I will show you specifically that we're going to be doing um, the BF skin, which I have a ton of here, but we'll just change it to Auditor for now, uh, and a Note skin as well, because I haven't covered those and I feel like now is the best time than ever. And as you can see, we have some note skins and some BF skins. So let's get started. I switch to my entire screen here. It's very simple. It's uh, very streamlined and very simple. So first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your Yoshi Engine folder here. I'll just full screen mine. Uh, and basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the skins folder. We're going to start off with the notes since they're a little bit easier to do. Uh, basically all that you want to do is click on the notes. And as you can see here, there's no folders. It's only the PNG and the XML for whatever note you want. So basically, when you do this, you're going to want to make sure that you have these names for your notes. Otherwise, it's not going to work. As you can see, it's the same thing for these. And all that you and if you have that, it will automatically load in. It will automatically work. All your animations will be there everything will be good life will be good and remember that whatever you name your PNG and your XML that'll be what your actual note name is in the game so if I go back in the game obviously you saw me select casino and that was the casino notes those notes are from the blackjack mod the blackjack demo in fact so if you guys want to check that out I'll leave a link to that in, uh, in the description I code it I help code that so it's pretty cool Great mod. Uh, and then we're going to jump into BF skins now. So basically, um, I'm not really going to show you how to add a note skin either. I feel like you guys have the uh, common sense to be able to just, you know, put it in there. If it's if it's a note skin, it always has to function the same way. So it, it'll work, right? I, I've never had any problems with it. Uh, next up is the BF skins. Now, as you can see here, it works a whole lot like GF if you remember how to do GF. So I'm going to open up another folder here quickly where I left my extra skins. And we're going to find one that's going to be um, Glitch BF. Let's try this. Cool. All right. So, uh, hold on, let me just pull this up, show you guys. This is, uh, maybe, maybe not that one, actually. Let's, let's try and find someone that's, uh, gonna be good. Corrupt BF. Is this just the corrupt BF? Okay, we'll do corrupt BF. 
because corruption is cool. <laughs> uh, a little bit scuffed on this one, but you know, just just follow me here. Uh, so basically, what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to click on the template folder, click Control C and Control V, and all, and you're going to make a copy. You're going to want to rename it to whatever you want to uh, name your BF to. So in this case, mine is the corrupt BF. So click on it go into your folder wherever you're saving your XML and PNG simply shift click on both of them and click rename rename them to sprite sheet no caps and then drag them in it'll ask you to replace you want to click check mark or you can copy them as well that works too I like replacing because it saves me more file space one thing I have learned is that if you go into the character.hx here and you're not like me and you put it on the wrong page and we go into the character.hx here hold on there we go and basically once you're here uh, you I find that if uh, your character is actually off you can use a very simple so what I had to do with a bunch of GFs that I made yesterday was uh, change the scale the scale.x and why um, to actually change like the scale of her and also the you can use character dot X and character dot Y as well to move him to move him or her up and down over side to side these are your offsets I learned this <laughs> I've been messing around too much guys lately I, this is, yeah it's been a thing um, I don't suggest deleting any of these, especially not these names. These names are incredibly important. And obviously, we're going to want to make sure that our uh, XML lines up with the thing. So as you can see, it, it does. It does. It works. But you, some of these I had to change to make the character actually playable. But if you need to, you just simply replace these, uh, the second uh, pair of what's the word for them? Uh, the second string the second string with whatever your animation name is and if you want to change it the looping and whatnot you could do all of that this is entirely separate it's it's actually really cool how this works so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save that and we're gonna see if our corrupt BF works let's go into options in our game hold on let me switch to Yoshi engine there we go and we're gonna go down into skins and we're gonna find our new skin. Oh, past them. Hold on. And right here. Corrupt, as you can see, is selected. Go out. Go out of this one. Boom. Corrupt BF skin. Look at how easy that was. And what's more is that you he'll actually uh, animate properly as well. So if we just wait for, you know, the notes to Come on, you can see, no offsetting issues. Very nice. But some of these skins will actually come with JSONs, and if they're not offset correctly, then you can obviously use that as well. So, uh, with that, I think I'm going to end the tutorial there. Um, just once again, another reminder that uh, if you guys are having any troubles or anything, feel free to DM me. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Discord, I'm, I, I'm getting better at replying to YouTube comments, so, you know, just uh, I'll be here for you guys if you need them and yeah with that all of the skins are uh, done so uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and with that I'll see you all next time bye now